Hello everyone! Here's an example on finding binomial probabilities. So about 32% of students participate in a community volunteer program outside of school. If 30 students are selected at random, find the probability that most 14 of them participate in a community volunteer program outside school. We're going to use technology. So I'm going to use StatCrunch actually. So you will show you uh, where to find the binomial calculator there. So you, you're told it's a binomial distribution, but you can always kind of sure do a check, right? So is it a binomial uh, distribution? So, so basically you want to see, does it have just two choices, uh, success and failure? Okay, so it does. So we have two choices because a student could like either participate or not okay so that's a good check and the other important thing with the binomial distribution is that the choices are independent of each other right so they're independent right so that means like if you look at two different students right if they're chosen randomly from a community uh, selected at random then there's no reason why a student's choice would influence another student's choice. Um, so probabilities, you can say they're independent. Um, and we're given a probability. So we have the probability P of a success. So the probability of success, you kind of take this to be constant so because the events are independent of each other this is it's not going to change from uh, kind of uh, in the you know big picture so we have our probability of an event the little p is 0 0.32 and this is going to stay constant okay now there are there are some assumptions made here right so kind of you have to kind of be aware that we're assuming a few things right some assuming that the volunteer program could take an unlimited number of students, like it doesn't fill up. Um, so, because uh, if that happened, then the probability could change, right? If it's full, the probability of a student participating is going to be zero, right? So, so we're, we're we're making some assumptions there. Okay. So we want to find the probability that at most 14 of them participate. Okay, so we have, it's a binomial probability. Uh, we want to find the probability that x is at most, so less than or equal to 14. Um, out of the 30 students, so n equals 30. Okay, so we have a sample of 30 students, n equals 30, and we're trying to figure out if at most 30 of those students. So, so the variable of interest, our x is the variable of interest, is um, how many out of the 30 students participate. in the volunteer program all right so you can see that our variable can take any value from 0 to 30 okay so x could be anything from could be 0 could be 1 all the way to 30 because you have you could have none none of the students in your sample participate all the way up to 30 of them participating okay so it's a variable because it could change like sample to sample uh, but we're trying to find the probability of this, okay? So, um, so probability, B stands for binomial distribution, but we want to find the probability that X is less than or equal to 14. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So this includes lots of probabilities. The probability that X is 0, probability that X is 1, probability that X is 2. So it's like exactly this many students, this many students, all the way to probability that X equals 14. Okay, now we could calculate this by hand. There is a binomial formula. Binomial formula. 
which is um, the probability that x equals a particular value of x is um, n choose x p to the x and q to the n minus x. Right? p is the probability of success. q is 1 minus p. It's like the probability of failure. Uh, n is how many students you have, and x is that particular value that you're trying to figure out. So you, technically you can do this by hand, but I don't, uh, it's not necessary. Um, and it would be like, oh my god, it would be so much work to do, like all these 15 values and add them up. So you want to use technology. So we're going to go to stat crunch. I know, pretty picture, isn't it? So we're going to go to stat crunch. I'm going to sign in. There we go. And I'm going to uh, open stat crunch like this. All right, and I don't need any data. Okay, we're going to go to calculators, stat calculator, and binomial. Okay, so you get this image right here, which is sort of preset with some numbers. You got to change them. So you're going to put your n is 30, that's the 30 students here sample. The p is 0.32, the probability that a student participates in the program. And here you can sort of change the inequality and the number, and we want less than or equal to 14, because so at most 14. And we compute, and that gives you the probability. So, so basically the calculator, you can see like all these bars in the binom binomial distribution, represents the probability that like one particular value of x is occurring like for example this one at five it's like the probability that exactly five students participate in the program is going to kind of you can look at from the graph here it's about 0 0.03 okay but all of them added from 0 to 14 they add up to this number 0.9695 okay so 0.9695. All right, so that's the answer that we, we need. All right, so it's a quick, quick calculation if you use technology.